Let's try a face transplant tutorial in Photoshop CS6. So if you search for Obama, you can actually click on uh, images and then click on search tools and choose a large image. And when you're dealing with feathering and face transplants, face swaps, you gen generally want to work with large images. Now I already found two images searching for Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama and uh, the idea of you clicking on original image you should be able to see it and notice the lighting the lighting here and the lighting here are pretty straight on you don't see any dark shadows so ideally the two images you wanna do a face swap with would have uh, similar lighting you don't want uh, the light from one side and the light coming from another generally the people are looking in the same direction so you copy these and you paste it into Photoshop so you go found new and then OK and then you paste it we have Hillary Clinton first and we have Obama next right click copy image go to Photoshop and you go edit paste control V and what what is it gonna take for Obama to win for a three-peat it's gonna be a new haircut new haircut and a new hairstyle and what more beautiful hairstyle than Miss Clinton so we have the Obama layer on top we're gonna choose the the lasso tool. Now feel free to use any type of selection tool you wish whether it be the polygon lasso which is generally it might be easier to work with or even the pen tool uh, the, feather, the feather setting applies to all these tools so I'm going to choose a feather setting of 40 and I'm going to go uh, around the main features and get these nice lines in around his cheeks but I'm just mainly getting the inside of his eyes there we go I'm going to go edit copy. I no longer need this layer so I'm going to throw it in the garbage. Just garbage it. And I'm going to go select deselect or control D. I don't need that. And I'm going to edit paste. So I pasted the Obama layer on top. I'm going to press control T to transform. And notice how you can resize it. And you can even press enter to confirm it. You can press uh, V or click on the move tool to move it around. If you want to change the opacity on this layer to say 50% enter, you can kind of see through it. So it's a bit it might be a bit easier to match things up. So I can try to match things up nicely and then change the opacity back up, crank it up to 100%. So I cover it. So this is uh, where we might want to make it a bit bigger, Control T to transform it, just make it a little bit larger is probably a bit better and try to align it up again. This is not too bad but you can see it's cutting into the hair a little bit. This is where you might want to re-feather so instead because it's so close to the edge and, and a large feather setting will generally make things very soft you want to change it to 20 and I'm going to go around it again just because it's a smaller feather setting. I'm going to try to clean out just the sides here. Uh, and uh, we want to get everything but this. So I'm going to go to select inverse and make sure that you're on the Obama layer and press delete. Notice how we kind of refeather, cut deleted the edge here. So I'm going to go to select, deselect. Notice how it's pretty smooth in, in the way that it switches from one to another. Uh, we might want to just go one more time just around this eye just because uh, just because the skin color here is so much different as compared to the other side. I want to just uh, feather delete that out. Uh, notice how Hillary Clinton's eyes are uh, kind of, eyebrows are kind of showing through there. We might want to have uh, I try to cover that out. Uh, we might have to uh, do some editing here. <clears throat> Start using some other tools or to uh, maintain Obama's uh, layer a bit higher. So we can even try to transform this and stretch it out a little bit. Try to cover that out. Uh, we can even try merging the layers. So if I were to actually right click merge the layers this is where it takes a lot of tweaking and ideally you'd actually keep the original. You can even try using some other techniques like the clone stamp tool and 
don't want to get into too many other details here, but if you press, uh, okay, let's zoom in here, if you press uh, Alt-click, you can copy that and just clean it up a little bit. These are all interesting techniques, but let's not worry so much about that for now. Let's press Control alt z The idea of actually face transplanting using a feathering technique is very interesting. Something else you might want to consider trying is going to uh, try to try to match the color. So you go, if you go to Image, Adjust Hue Saturation, and try dragging the color around until you get the closest color possible, and then drag the saturation bar around just to match it a bit better here. It's pretty close. And generally don't want to play around with lighting too much. It kind of looks too fake. So I'll generally leave that alone. Click on OK. And one other thing you might want to try to play around with to do a better job is go image adjust the levels. So this is another thing that might help just because the uh, the degree of uh, contrast might be different uh, from one image to another. This image is actually pretty good already. I think the, the match is not too bad. So click on OK. And once you're done, you can see that uh, this is a beautiful image, a beautiful hair. And this hair is uh, certainly worthy of uh, a potential three-peat, the hair itself, that is. I'm going to stay out of politics. Congratulations. Now you know, have some insight in dealing with feathering.